this and before the folks get through looking at the tape that they're watching right yeah. now they're going to understand you're right Les Ross. i want to show all you rednecks up there something you see this right here this right here is almost a hole in this steel helmet because of that crazy gibson if i hadn't had this helmet on my skull would have been crushed gibson beware because my bombers are not going to let you forget it yeah, don't worry, he's not going to forget it either, and uh, he'll be there Tuesday. He night. is a wild, crazy man, Lance Russell. He needs to be locked up, him and his brother both. They need to be put in a mental institution, because when they do something like that to Danny Davis, the sergeant, they're messing with the wrong man. They ain't got any reason at all to come in the ring and do something like that with a tire iron. Now, that Ricky Gibson is nuts. He's a complete idiot. He don't need to be wrestling, and when he gets in Louisville, if he's got the guts to get in the ring, we're going to show him what's going to happen to him. Oh, don't worry. He'll be we're going to show you what we're going to do to a crazy man. We're going to put him in a French dinner jacket. You know what that is, Lance Russell? We're going to tie his arms up, and we're going to do a tap dance on his head and make him like it. Well, I uh, have a feeling that Tuesday night right there in Louisville Gardens, if you guys feel that way, that it's going to be a mutual feeling because the Gibsons have got a little doing to uh, settle up with We got one more of the little Gibsons to get the little pretty one. We haven't got him yet, but time's coming for him. It could happen Tuesday night, Lance Russell. You ought to be there to see that one yourself. You seem to always be around when action happens. Okay, the Blonde Bombers and Danny Davis are going to be right there in Louisville on Tuesday, and their chore is going to be to stay alive after Rick and Robert Gibson get in that ring with them. And, uh, of course, I think you will understand a whole lot better. Don't go away. Stay right where you are. The action is just beginning. Now, okay. <laughs> Dave and I was just telling Dave about the uh, about the videotape that we're about to take a look at. It uh, took place in Tupelo, Mississippi, in the sports arena, and, and we have seen uh, innumerable rugged action brawls down there in the, in the sports arena. Uh, this particular one involved the Blonde Bombers, Wayne Ferris and Larry Latham, uh, going against the Gibsons, Rick and Robert. And it is uh, <clears throat> not one that I am proud of in terms of professional wrestling. Uh, well, the action speaks for itself. We'll let you take a look at it right now. Rick taking a terrific beating. Ferris, Latham have already lost the bout in 1433 on a disqualification. Robert Gibson is handcuffed courtesy of Danny Davis to that rope. And they are just beating the fire out of Rick. Robert can't do a thing about it. Can hardly defend himself as Latham beats him. Boy, Rick covered with blood as his face has been punched around by these bombers. Referee trying to get them separated. He'll get one out of there, but there's three of them. And Rick Gibson doesn't have a chance against these guys. The referee over now, while Latham drops down and nails Rick. They're hollering for some help. Davis, thrill. look at Robert swinging the cuffs up and down the ropes. Davis kicks him from behind, and Robert cannot get loose. Trying to get out there to help his brother, Rick. Firing. Davis comes back at him and Rick puts him down, but look at Gibson. Boy, he's in trouble. Rick Gibson going after the bombers. Uh, behind the concession stand at the Tupelo Sports Arena, Larry Latham, Wayne Ferris, Danny Davis, Pounding on Rick Gibson. Robert still handcuffed to the ring rope. And Gibson being slammed around. Referee Paul Morton trying to break it up. But the Bombers see a chance to three on one Rick Gibson. Latham breaks the broom over the back of Gibson. While Ferris holds him, Latham again with that broom, he whacks it, and Rick Gibson taking a tremendous amount of punishment from the Blonde Bombers. Yeah, can't they get somebody out here? Yeah, Herman, see if... They had 
busted Rick open in the ring. Denny Davis, the bomber, is just pounding on it. And they got, did somebody get him loose? Yeah, here comes Robert. He still has, they broke off one of the handcuffs, but Davis, here comes Rick Morton. And Davis slams him in the face and cracks his head down on the counter. Robert, once again, battling back over the counter. And Danny, trying to keep everybody away while the Bombers, here comes Eddie Marlin, Ken Lucas. Handsome Jimmy coming out and over the counter. And it's turned into a brawl as the Bombers are now outnumbered. They start to take off, but they're firing things, nailing away Davis Latham and Ferris going, and Robert Gibson's going after him. And Rick Gibson left bleeding and prostrate on the floor. Here comes Robert back to help his brother. Everybody around to try to help. Rick Gibson, okay, officially, and I guess that uh, really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Officially, the 14.33 is the time on it. By disqualification, the Gibsons will win. But that's of little consequence with a dastardly thing that uh, they did it. All right, let's take time out now, and we're going to be back. Well, as we said, uh, I guess it was, you know, it was a brawl totally unnecessary. Uh, the bombers taking advantage of a situation which they created. Uh, Robert, good to have you here today, man. Um, I, I know it's a difficult uh, situation in time for you. I, I saw Rick last night after uh, after the bout, and it was it was bad. I want to know how um, how is he to, how is he today? How, how's he's facing? How's Rick doing? Well, Lance, you know, right now uh, it's, it's really hard for me to talk. I'm I'm, I'm upset. I'm nervous, and oh, just well, really upset. Take it easy, partner. And uh, uh, how is uh, how's Rick getting along today? Well, Lance, I left him this morning at the motel, and I looked over at him. He don't look no better than he did last night. Mm. One eye is almost closed, and he's, he's over here it's sliced open. It really looks yeah, bad, Lance. Yeah. Yeah. I saw they busted uh, busted that uh, that side of the eye right over there, and and your wrist. Uh, where the handcuffs were on you, tore your wrist up real bad, and I, I hope that uh, is going to be a situation that will correct. Uh, I know you've got match coming up, and uh, I just wonder, is Rick uh, going to be in any kind of a condition to uh, to wrestle? Yeah, Lance, he, he is. He's definitely going to be ready to wrestle. You know, we always go out there and we try to uh, win our matches, you know. We try to go out there and not try to hurt anybody, just try to win our matches, but it's going past that, and we definitely... Uh, Ferris Latham would definitely try to cripple him. Well, I can understand your feeling about that, Robert. It was one of those things that was totally unnecessary. And uh, we have admired the combination. All right, come on now. Don't come in here. Just right, get out of here. You guys are coming up. Huh? You, you get out of here, Wayne. You got something to say to me. You say it to my face. You ain't Andy, got the guts to say it. You don't talk through that idiot box. You don't tell me stuff through that. You tell me something to my face, boy. If you're so big and bad, you're going to do something. You do it right now. Come on, do it, boy. Get it, Wayne. I don't do nothing. Out. Don't tell me nothing. You show me, son. Show me. Yeah, you're bad when you got three against one. Yeah, you're really bad out here. Yeah, I'm bad, but you ain't nothing, son. You're a gutless, spineless wonder is what you are. Right. You're just Take like that brother of yours. You you're nothing, son. And you're not going to do anything to me because you ain't got the guts. You know that? You're a coward, Gibson. A coward. Hey. Now, don't wait. Get somebody in here. Let's get these guys. Somebody in here, please. Dundee and Regal. Okay. Let's uh let's just take a break and we'll be back to uh, championship wrestling in just a moment.
We uh, mentioned a little bit earlier a situation that resulted in the Southern Tag Team belts uh, being vacated. And we'll have more about that tournament uh, later on. It'll be throughout the uh, southern states that are involved. There was a stunning situation that developed in southern heavyweight land in the Jackson Coliseum in Jackson, Tennessee. This man right here, Paul Ellering, won the southern heavyweight title. The new AWA southern heavyweight champion is Paul Ellering. Well, you know, I mean... There was a time. There was a time, Lance Russell, when you didn't have time for me, Elvis.